Show the Sheep, The Flight Before Christmas is a great example of why claymation and Christmas go well together. At least when it's done well, which is of course the case. This is an Aardman Animations film. And it just always blows my mind how intricate and detailed these are. This was released originally in 2021, so quite a new short, but I've only just watched it. It's on BBC iPlayer if you're in the UK, directed by Steve Cox. And we have, of course, Justin Fletcher as the voice of Sean voice of Sean and I'll read the description from IMDB which I think sums it up quite nicely without giving any spoilers I'm sure you'll get the heightened anxiety and anticipation from this and this says Sean's seasonal excitement turns to dismay when a farm farmhouse raid to get bigger stockings for the flock inadvertently leads to Timmy going missing can Sean get Timmy back before he becomes someone else's present obviously the race is on before Christmas to restore Timmy to his home and save the season. There are so many sheep in this. I don't know how many sheep. I kind of confuse a lot of them because a lot of them look exactly the same. But I think it is just a fabulous example of how claymation and Christmas can go hand in hand. The narrative is quite interesting. I wasn't that emotionally invested in it. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't too concerned about Timmy, but I did want the best for him, of course. But for me, as is usually the case with Artman's, yes, the narratives are good and carry the stories, but it's the visual beauty and just every scene has so much detail in it. I don't know how they managed to make tiny Christmas decorations. Oh, the tiny Rumba, the tiny robot vacuum cleaner. I'd love to know what that is actually made of because it is so tiny and it doesn't look, it looks to scale, it looks full size. The detail is just absolutely astounding and it's very festive. They did not scrimp on the festivities. Everywhere you look, characters are wearing you know, Christmas hats or at least woolly winter warmers. The trees are beautifully decorated. There are little bells, tiny little bells on shoes. It's just beautiful. So yes, the narrative I enjoyed and even though it didn't personally speak to me too much, I did find it to be you know, well developed, um, well presented and quite interesting and flowed very well, good pacing. But the quality of the stop motion, the quality of the stop motion and the attention to detail are both just classic Aardman and for that reason I absolutely loved it.